Hi, we're EIM Technology, and this is the Traffic Light Project. This is an electronic board that uh, simulates the operation of two tra of the traffic lights at an intersection between one large street and one smaller side street. So some of the skills that we'll be learning in this project will be working with the FPGA and working with microcontrollers such as the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we'll also be doing programming languages associated with each of these controllers. For example, we'd be doing Verilog with the FPGA or Rifle Python with the Raspberry Pi Pico. In addition to programming the two controllers, another essential electronic skill that's learned from this product is when you get the product out of the box, all these pieces come separately and with these LEDs not connected and you have to solder all these connections on as well as these connectors here. And then each traffic light has its own connector on the board, which you can slot it into. Some of the features that are included in this board are a darkness feature. So here is a light sensor. So when the light becomes quite low, you can see that all of the street lights will turn on, illuminating the board. And some of the other features we have here are car sensor. So once a car stands here, it will be able to detect that there is a vehicle waiting at the stop. We also have a walk signal. So the pedestrian wants to cross the road, you would simply press the walk signal. We'll be able to detect that. So let's go back to the light sensor in this project. So what this does is actually helps us detect when to switch between a day operation and a night operation. So during the daytime, the traffic lights change at a regular period, a regular rate. But once it reaches the nighttime operation, the operation is no longer regular. So the main seat will stay on indefinitely until a car sensor is activated or when the walk signal is activated. 